cities, of course, across Siouxland today here in Iowa, also celebrating with all kinds of fun. The 4th of July parade in Altoona is back after being out for a couple of years because of COVID, of course. The last Independence Day parade was held there, in fact, more than 20 years ago. It runs from the library there all the way through town. The parade lineup stretches more than a mile and a half. And like any activity, it takes plenty of work to put this parade on. It, it was just a lot of fun and a lot of hard work. But, you know, when you put something on, you do have to have volunteers. And uh, everyone's busy, but, you know, it was successful and we were pleased. Everyone, we do want to thank for the crowds that came out and everyone that participated. So thank you so much. Organizers there in Altoona hope that that parade becomes another boost for tourism in the community. Meanwhile, the soggy ground in central Iowa didn't keep people away from another parade there. One of the biggest parades here in Iowa is in Urbandale each year. The parade route there stretches two miles. It includes veterans, marching bands, and of course, uh, plenty of candy being tossed to kids. The city also hosts a carnival that runs uh, throughout this evening. The morning rain didn't keep people from getting out for a parade, and that included many Siouxland stops as well as Newton. Not really. I was debating on whether we were going to come or not, but we decided to show up anyways. It's a great parade. We have a... Everybody's here. Um, we have a lot of people that participate and a lot of community spirit. Every year, we're here in this spot. May have been damp and maybe soggy, but folks everywhere we checked seem to come out this year. Uh, activities uh, including sand volleyball, um, basketball contests, and food trucks across the area all helping bring folks together on this special holiday.